Okay, so we're gonna talk about the top university coding boot camps. If you're here, you probably like classrooms and you don't like online courses, and you wanna know more about the local university coding bootcamp that was launched in your area. If you're looking for answers, you've come to the right place. Because by the end of this video, you're gonna understand everything that you need to know about university coding bootcamps that you can share with your friends. Before telling you about the top university coding bootcamps, I wanna make sure you check out the guide on the Career Karma website about the top 36 university coding bootcamps, but also the betting on bootcamps report by the Clay Christensen Institute, where it talks about how short form courses are disrupting higher ed. Okay, so here we go. University coding bootcamps are job training programs that teach you exactly what companies need in a short amount of time. Usually they're provided by a third party like Kenzie Academy with Butler University, Flatiron School with Yale, Thinkful with other different university programs. But the majority of university coding boot camps are brought to you by a company called Trilogy Education Services. Trilogy Education Services was recently acquired for $750 million by 2U. And you should go to 2U's website, click Investor Relations, so you can find out how university boot camps are spreading rapidly across America, but also all over the world. You can think about Trilogy kind of like a franchise where, again, the universities themselves are not providing the coding boot camp, but Trilogy is powering it across the nation. Unlike a franchise, Trilogy also helps these universities have unique attributes so that each one has its own different type of flavor. The idea of attending a university coding boot camp is kind of confusing because in the beginning you're like, but wait, don't I have to be a university student to be able to take advantage of one of these university coding boot camps? And the answer is no. There is no college requirement to attend a university coding boot camp and convenient location in person is a huge benefit for a lot of people. So let's go deeper about the benefits of university coding bootcamps. So first, let's talk about brand. Some colleges have been around for more than 100 years, sometimes even 250 years. So attending a university coding bootcamp allows you to leverage that brand on your resume, even though companies have dropped the requirement to have a college degree and value certificates less, hiring managers are still human and degrees and universities are still a powerful signal that can help you get the shot to prove that you have the skills to be a software engineer. If you wanna learn more about brand, make sure you check out our interview with the CEO of Trilogy on the Breaking Stars podcast before he was acquired by 2U, where he talks about how Trilogy was created, how they partner with universities, and how brand is extremely important as they power the graduation of people trying to transition into the workforce. With this reputation on the line, you best believe that conversations between Trilogy and the university have been had to make sure that the name can be used and it is an option for you as you are exploring different types of job training programs or coding bootcamps. Another benefit of university coding bootcamps is consistency. New job training programs and coding bootcamps that are short form are popping up all over the nation and they're starting to reach the thousands of programs in the US alone. And so there's sometimes a lot of inconsistency about outcomes and, and where people go and, and how things and what's offered at different programs. What's nice about Trilogy powering the majority of these university programs is that, like I said, it's like a franchise, so you have some level of standardization across the board. With that said, you have different flavors of university coding boot camps like cybersecurity and things like that if you're looking for it. And so make sure you still talk to the heads of admissions 
to understand what they offer that's sometimes not even on their website. Consistency, but also inconsistency that can sometimes be a good thing. The next benefit that university coding boot camps offer is reasonable cost. So for those of you that don't know, coding boot camps usually charge around $9,000 to $21,000, which most people don't have lying around in their pocket. The good thing is that university boot camps provided by Trilogy usually cost around $10,000. With that said, to this point, most coding boot camps don't have income share agreements or money back guarantees and they don't guarantee you getting a job, so keep that in mind. Something to pay attention to related to reasonable access to university coding boot camps is the possibility of federal funding opening up to these types of programs. Title IV would provide a lot of access to people attending university coding boot camps even though it doesn't exist yet. Sometimes that will allow low quality programs to survive and an outcomes driven model that guarantees you a job would be better. But Trilogy has university coding boot camps in 25 states and counting, which has opened up technical educations to thousands of people across the nation. So let's talk about frequently asked questions about university coding boot camps. Are there Ivy League university coding boot camps? The answer is yes. If you've always dreamed about going to an Ivy League school, you can go if you want to, or you can go to a coding boot camp powered by a Trilogy on an Ivy League campus. There are currently three Ivy League schools that are powered by Trilogy on university campuses. These prestigious universities took the leap of faith betting that coding boot camps are the future. So what about you? The response to coding boot camps at Ivy League universities powered by Trilogy has been tremendous. Also, if you want to take advantage of boot camps at Harvard University, just know that there's a boot camp powered by its extension school that you could take advantage of today as well. Also, the University of Pennsylvania offers its own coding boot camp as well through its College of Liberal and Professional Studies as well. So that's it about the Ivy League. But the question a lot of people also ask is, do these university coding boot camps provide college credit? The answer is, the majority of them do not. However, remember the Kenzie Academy that I told you about? Kenzie does offer college credit for its programs partner with Butler University and increasingly more programs like Kenzie recognize that people still want college credit even though tech companies don't require college degrees anymore for some reason. So how do you choose a university coding bootcamp? Well first, you can start by reading our guide about the top 36 university coding bootcamps that I told you about or you can download the Career Karma app to talk to people that are considering those programs or that have a job after graduating from one of those programs today. The point of this video is so you know that universities are starting to realize that the reason why our student loan amount across the United States is $1.6 trillion is because people believe that college was gonna get them a job that allowed them to pay the tuition off for the loans that they took out. Now that that isn't the case, we have to start holding ourselves accountable to outcomes. And hopefully, by the end of you all watching this video and you all becoming software engineers, not only will there be university book, boot camps that are funded by tuition up front and student loans, but also outcome-driven financing models for them as well, like income share agreements that you can check out in our guide about the state of income share agreements as well. Finally, we're always open to feedback. If you've attended one of these programs, if you know someone considering it, if you've talked to someone in admissions at one of these university coding boot camps, make sure you leave a comment about it below. Subscribe, tell your friends, and let's break in.